Good afternoon, children. Today, it's time for some science. And the science today, there's a bird in the background over there. Oh, I've got a bird in the house. Anyway, let's concentrate more on our work, children. Now, we've been looking at plants. So I just want to remind you what you're doing, because we're going to have a look at scientists. Now, these are special people who teach us things. And the scientists we're going to look at today is special. Let's have a look. And the first scientist we're going to look at is a person who was interested in botany. What's botany? Ah, the study of plants. We've all been botanists last term. So today's lesson will be quite easy for most of you. So a botanist is a scientist who studies plants. What's that called? A microscope. That's right. They look in a leaf under a microscope. Some botanists carry out experiments to find out more about plants. Others look at the environment. That means what it's like. For example, in Thailand, it's very hot. But in Iceland, the plants are very different because it's very cold. Botanists are important scientists. Their work helps us decide which plants to grow and where. We also grow plants for food and medicine. The lady we're going to look at today is named Jane Colden. She lived in America hundreds of years ago, and she was born in around 1720. Now, they do believe that she was the first woman botanist in America. But it was a long time ago, so we can't be sure. She didn't go to school, so she learned everything from her mother and her father. They taught her everything, just like your mother and father are helping you at home. And Mr. Tim's helping you. So, what did Jane Colden do? Well, it looks like she was doing some drawing there. She was interested in the plants in her garden around the house. She drew them and watched them grow. She watched again and again and again. And she did it so many times, she wrote a book about it with her father. And all the pictures were in the book. And it was so good, it won an award. So, do we have any budding ladies here who are botanists? I look forward to the drawings. Boys, don't let the girls beat you. But I think the girls are going to win. Other scientists and botanists thought a lot of her, and they used to come and visit her and compare her pictures to the plants that she grew. So, if you live in London, like Mr. Tim did, you could go to the Natural History Museum and you can see the original ones on display. So, what am I looking at? Jane Colden, true, oh, they made a spelling mistake, true of false, true or false. Look at these sentences. Do you think it is true or false? Jane learned all about plants at school. She didn't go to school, so she couldn't learn about them. Jane was, a, oh, she was definitely that one, the first woman botanist in America. Jane and her father wrote a book about plants. Jane took the photographs and dad did most of the writing, I think, but the book did win an award. No scientists, of course, had heard about her. Oh, there you go. False, false, true, true, right? Well done. Remember that. So, hmm, looking at that plant, can you label that plant? I can see a stem. I can see some leaves. I can't see any roots. Anyway, let's have a little more careful. Look at this picture. All right, let's look carefully. Flowers are oh, on the top. Yes, yes. Stem, leaf. Ah. So let's go and be a botanist for the day. I want you to be a botanist, just like Jane Colden and find some plants. If you've got a magnifying glass at home, use it or just do some drawings of the ones around you. But we know why it's difficult to look at the plant's roots, so don't start digging them up. Unless mummy or daddy says you can, okay? So here's a sheet of what you're going to do. Let's have a look more closely at that sheet. So children, let's have a look what we've got in store for you. You've done more than this before. This is just a reminder so we can remember doing it at school again. Let's have a look. Let's share the screen with your work. 
Right, so this is your screen. Mm, let's have a look at the top. Right, so today you are going to become botanists. Botanist is somebody who studies plants. So, does anybody know what different side parts of the plant are? There's only three boxes. So we don't need to do every one, do we? We can do the flower, the leaf, the stem, or the root, up to you. But what you're gonna have to do is you're going to draw it in the box, maybe in this one here. Yeah, so get your pen out. I think this is the right one. Oh, that's the right pen. Oh, excuse me. Click the pen. Let's change this one so we could draw. We could draw a leaf. Then we could write in here. We go to the writing. It's coming, Sarah. Okay. Put the writing over here. And we can put the leaf. Oh, sorry. Leaf. One leaf like that. Okay. So we could do a leaf. Oh, we could do a flower. Yeah. Let's start with a flower. We could do a flower. There's a flower. There you go. Then we go to the writing up here and we write flower. Okay, so we're pretty good at that. Okay. Botanists are scientists who study plants. Sketch and label different parts of the plants in the box below. Can you explain which each part of the plant does? What does a leaf do? The leaf. Oh, it's green, isn't it? This is where photosynthesis takes place. Photosynthesis. This is where the sun shines. This is where the carbon dioxide is absorbed. And it helps the plant grow. Photosynthesis, the leaf. The flower. The f oh, what holds the flower? The, the seed. The flower is usually pretty. It's usually when, remember that one last time, the bird comes in, sits on the flower, pokes at the flower, and maybe gets some seeds and takes the seeds somewhere else. So that's what the flower does. So we've got one more to do. Right here, what you think it does. Okay? We could have the root there or the stem there. It's up to you. All right? So... We know what we're going to do, and we've done some of this before, but Mr. Tim's just checking you've got the idea, and we'll learn something new next week.